The D-Day landings are widely seen as the beginning of the end of World War II in Europe. But one of the most important components of the successful Allied assault on the Normandy beaches in the summer of 1944 was not a general or military planner, not a soldier, sailor or airman. But this man, Juan Pujol, codenamed Garbo, a Spaniard working for MI5, but who German intelligence officers believed was working for them. And, of course, he was called Garbo by Tommy Harris because he was the best actor in the world. Yeah. Author Nigel West tracked Garbo down in South America before he died and co-wrote the master spy's incredible story as a double agent. The great thing about Juan Pujol was that he was immensely plausible and he was passionate about deception. He believed that Western civilization was in danger if Hitler was allowed to succeed. And therefore, he, was, he threw his whole being, his whole life, into promoting the Allied cause. And so long before he arrived in England, he had already developed a completely imaginary network of spies. In the opinion of most historians and students of strategic deception, uh, Juan Pujol, codenamed Garbo by MI5, Alaric by the Abwehr, is probably the most important double agent of all time. So important was Garbo to both sides in the war that he received both an MBE from the British and the Iron Cross from the Germans for his spying. Garbo's credibility was enhanced with the Germans because every now and again he gave them genuine intelligence. And that's what happened on the morning of D-Day itself. He radioed his Nazi handlers from his home in this street in North London to tell them the invasion was underway. But he also told them that it was a bluff and that the real advance was going to come further up the coast and much later. And so the Germans didn't react. But newly released MI5 documents from the time reveal that Garbo's homesick wife nearly blew his cover and potentially changed the course of the war. The real story which is coming out of these files relates to, to Garbo's wife, who, as I said, was hugely influential in setting up the network to begin with, but then gets effectively cut out when they come to England. And she's lonely, um, she doesn't speak any English, she's not really allowed to converse with anyone, and she has something of a, a nervous breakdown. And in the end, Garbo has to play a trick not only on the Germans, but on his own wife in order to keep the network going. In the end, Juan Pujol solved the problem of his unhappy marriage by faking his own death and getting MI5 to cover it up. David Bowden, Sky News.